distinguished uh, colleagues, my name is Cyril Fashi, representing the good people of Ekiti North. I have decided to stand up to call this additional prayer to follow the footpath of uh, Senator Abamoro because since the beginning of this Senate, I've been raising my hands and you have never called me. My additional prayer is taken from uh, the speech of Mr. President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu that says, let the poor breathe. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, let the poor breathe. That is my additional <laughs> prayer. Distinguished colleagues, we, uh, uh, Ambassador, you, you want to second? Uh, the, no, we have, not, uh, we have not concluded on the prayer by uh, our brother Cyril. Uh, uh, he said his uh, additional prayer is let the poor breathe. Uh, Senator Mustafa, you want to second that uh, additional prayer? Representing Kwara Central, in supporting Senator Cyril Fashui in his additional prayer that the poor should breathe, I believe all he's trying to say is that the discourse. Okay. <laughs> so the switch colleagues that your prayer is that let the poor breathe, and then Senator Musafa has seconded. Uh, that the poor should uh, breathe. Those who are in support of the additional uh, uh, prayer that uh, the poor should be allowed to breathe, say aye. aye. And those who are against, say nay. The eyes have it, the poor must be allowed to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> let me. <laughs> let me. Uh, let me. Let me thank uh, the mover of the motion for bringing this to the fore. And uh, as a matter of fact, it's such a very serious issue because this goes to the root cause of production. Not just production, it also goes to the root cause of employment. If we have to have employment opportunities, then our industries must function. And then the industries cannot function without electricity. And even the poor households who are made to pay exorbitant bills as a result of estimated billing, I think this must also be brought to an end. So we frown on it, we, we condemn it, and we think that sanity should be brought into the sector. So what we have done today as a Senate is to suspend any further increase in electricity tariff until all the conditions stipulated in this motion are met. So I want to thank my distinguished colleagues for thinking of the public, because this, even this motion and the resolutions therefrom are actually ways and means of letting the poor people in Nigeria to breathe. So I thank all of you. Senator Leader.